All right, so today's video is all about 2015, sorry, 2016 to 2022, how time trial positions have changed. So this is Tony Martin World Championships 2016 in Doha. So some things pretty similar, some things obviously different. One of the first things is this is a, the very old S-Works shiv. It's got a rim brake. You can see the cable. You see the transponder hidden under a latex inner tube, pretty standard. Chain rings look pretty big, probably a 58. Super small on the back, that looks like a 25 max. But having said that, even on a flat course now, I still think they've run a 28. Position wise, you can see really low on the front end, slight curve, but not much. And uh, yeah, not head down riding, you know, head all it's okay, but not great. And yeah, aero water bottle, pretty standard. Deep section front wheel, deep section rear and um, disc rear wheel, pretty standard. Again, nothing too radical straight away on this one. However, there are some in, uh, interesting points that we'll uh, pick up later, especially the fact that he has no integrated bar and stem, uh, sorry, in, no integrated bars, and they're not like the custom or anything else. So anyway, pretty decent setup, but not the best. Anyway, again, two by, but that hasn't changed either. This is Tom de Moulin in 2017. So again, position not too dissimilar, like slightly higher hands, but that's about it. Equipment wise, we've got again, rim brakes, We've got a tri-spoke early doors, which is rogue. People using tri-spokes less and less, to be honest. Um, especially these days, this is the, actually the giant trinity that people are still using and winning world tour stages at this moment in time. Uh, they took out two Giro stages, the bike exchange guys. So yeah, pretty interesting. Overshoes again, giant rivet helmet. I'm not sure how quick that is, but again, not crazy different to, to Tom uh, Tony Martin, Tom de Mula. Uh, but yeah, next one is Rowan Dennis. Again, like Jira Airhead, interesting position, quite similar, not as high hands, no custom bars. You can see none of these guys have custom bars. And I think that's one thing you'll definitely notice changes later on. Again, rim brakes, which is interesting. Two by, this was a hilly course, overshoes, tri-spoke disc. So you can see the sort of evolution in these two, three years is not crazy. Rowan Dennis next year, though, I think his position changes. It goes higher hands. He's got suddenly custom bars. He gets to choose his own helmet. Here's the Cask Mistral. Here's the, the same bike, but again, oversized pulley wheels because he's not um, he's not restricted by the mechanics. You can see here, no oversized pulley wheel. De Moulin didn't run one either. And I think now oversized pulley wheels is often pretty standard on the TT bikes. Tri spoke, no latex inner over his transponder, which is interesting. And again, Aero water bottle, no, some weird round one, but Ghana does use that in a bit. So anyway, not, again, not crazy changes. Now we get on to Ghana's, Ghana's sort of time to, to rise, uh, which is 2018 was when he won his first world championships, which, um, sorry, I've got years completely wrong. This is 2019, this is 2020, sorry, when Ghana won his first world champs. And again, tire choice, you can see here, it's like GP 5000s. These probably would have been Vittoria courses. So I think that's one thing, maybe going from specific TT tires to more all round tires, which are fast as well. You can see here, massive chain rings again, pretty standard, but they definitely got bigger. People now often running well over 58. Um, Oversized pulley wheels, again here, he doesn't actually have um, the integrated bar and st the, sorry, custom bars. Again, this is actually rim brakes as well. Uh, so that's actually quite weird. If we think about it, it was only really um, 2022, uh, where it was won by, by rim brakes, which is super interesting. Again, larger cassette. You can see the cassette is a lot bigger than what Tony Martin was running. And this front wheel, I think is probably a little bit deeper than what Tony Martin was running. Position wise, again, you can see the hands a lot higher. If we go back to Tony Martin's position, it's really, that's the, I'd say the big thing that's changed. Now we go into 2021. Now he's got the integrated bar, sorry, the custom bars, um, as well, which look really, really neat. Um, latex inner tube. This is a deep front section wheel. I think this is 100 mil. So that's a big change. Big, big chain rings as well. Standard. But again, like position wise, just higher hands. That's the main thing. Gan is, is a bit, a little bit different. No oversized pulley wheels, which is interesting. Again, not a sponsor. And the little bottle cage. Now we look at 2022. And this is really interesting because this is actually the first World Championships one on disc brakes. And that's something that is quite interesting. Uh, 100 mil wheels, TT tires. Again, these are coarser speeds big chain rings, position looking pretty similar again, high hands, and the way they hold the bars as well, like you can see everyone's gone this, the, for the same position more or less with the with them tucked over. Gan is slightly different, but you can see him again with the, with the sort of 
thumbs going over the edge of the forefingers. Uh, in terms of hip angle, pretty tight as well. Reserve disc wheel, so that hasn't changed, and just a deeper front wheel. So it's, it's interesting to see what the changes are between the years. You'd say in some ways it's not too much, in some ways it's quite a lot. I'd say in general, obviously, disc brakes is a big change. I'd say going to a deeper front wheel, like a 100 mil front wheel, uh, back then is unheard of, but now it's a lot more standard. And I'd also say just the the position's probably getting better because more people have access to a wind tunnel than back in the day because the budgets of World Tour squads are definitely going up. And also, I think the custom, you know, 3D printed bars, that's something that definitely Tony Martin didn't have back in the day. But I'd say in conclusion, it's not, you know, it's a slow evolution, but it's definitely not like a revolution. It's not like from maybe 2010s. But um, yeah, those are sort of my thoughts on how it's changed in the recent years. Uh, I can do some older ones as well if you want, like some from maybe the 90s to uh, 2022 but in five year increments could be also be an interesting video but anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy this video i'll see you in the next one